Hi learners! In this video, we will be discussing the designing of instrument for data collection. Mostly, questionnaire is used as an instrument for collecting data. Questionnaire is one of the most common methods of data collection in quantitative research studies. A questionnaire consists of a set of questions based on the objectives of the research study. Answers or responses to these questions can be sought by self-administration or the interview method. The researcher should give special attention to clarity and language of the questions. There are different types of questions, but primarily questions can be divided into two categories. That is, the open-ended questions and the close-ended questions. A qualitative researcher uses open-ended questions, whereas a quantitative researcher mainly goes for close-ended questions. This is because close-ended questions can be scored objectively and statistical analysis is possible. Open-ended questions allow the respondent to answer questions in their own words and there is no force on respondents to answer the question in a specific format. Thus, the respondent is free to express his views freely. But, analysis of data by open-ended questions is very tedious and demanding. Closed-ended questions provide greater uniformity of responses. Respondents are asked to choose the answer from the responses suggested to them. These are easy to code and analyze. But here, the respondents are forced to choose the answer from the options given to them. Close-ended questions are further of different types, like dichotomous questions, multiple-choice questions, cafeteria questions, rank order questions, forced choice questions, rating questions, and the checklist. Let's now discuss these types of close-ended questions in detail. The first is the dichotomous questions. In this type of questions, the respondents are asked to choose a response from the two alternatives, that is, like, yes or no, male, female, agree, disagree, etc. This is very easy to administer and analyze as variation of response is very limited and the data is prone to errors. An example of such type of questions is, have you ever shopped online? For this questions, there can be two options. The first is yes and the second is no. The next type of questions are multiple choice questions. These type of questions are highly objective. Each question has a stem or a base which comprises of a statement or a question. The respondent has to answer from these options. There can be four to five options, but there is only one correct answer. An example of a multiple choice question is, how important is for you to buy a car at this time? And the options for the answers are A. Extremely important B. Very important C. Somewhat important D. Not important The next type of questions are cafeteria questions. These are special type of questions which can resemble the multiple choice questions but the only difference is that there are different options and any one option which is closely representative of the view of the respondent can be selected. So, here we cannot consider any one option as correct. The response options are usually full expressions of a position on topic. An example of such type of questions is Which of the following best represent your viewpoint regarding happy life? And the options are First, if you have a supporting spouse, then you are happy. Second, you need to have beautiful children to remain happy. Third, one should be able to grow professionally, only then he or she can be happy. And fourth, you can remain happy in any situation. The next type of questions are rank order questions. This type of questions ask the respondent to rank the target concepts along a continuum, such as most important to least important. Respondents can be asked to give one to most important concepts and two to next lesser important and so on. Rank order questions should not involve 
more than 10 ranks. An example of this type of question is, what do you value in your life? Please rank the following. One means most important, two means second most important, and so on. And the respondent can be asked to rank career, family, friendship, health, money, religion. The next type of questions are forced choice questions. Here, the respondents need to choose between two statements that represent negative or positive positions of any concepts. Many personality tests usually contain forced choice questions. For example, which statement most closely represents your point of view? The first being, what happens to me is my own doing. Second is, sometimes I feel I don't have enough control over my life. The next type of questions are rating questions. Rating questions ask the respondents to evaluate something on ordered dimension. Both the ends are extremely opposite to each other. In other words, these type of questions are typically bipolar. An example of this type of question is, on a scale of 0 to 10, how satisfied are you with the services of this company? Where 0 means extremely dissatisfied and 10 means extremely satisfied. The next type of questions are checklists. It includes several questions that have the same response pattern. It is a two-dimensional arrangement in which on one dimension a series of questions are listed and on the other alternative responses are listed. So learners, these were the different types of questions. Thank you.